Now, our next guest grabbed international headlines recently by giving a whole new meaning to the term treehouse. Take a look at this. His 17-story tower, resembling a giant ivory tree, will eventually overlook the French town of Montpellier after winning a citywide architecture competition. The aptly named white tree features dozens of balconies jutting out like branches, as you can see, from the building's 120 apartment units. Now, Nicolas Lenny is the owner of Nicolas Lenny Associé Architects, and he joins us now. Nicolas, good to have you with us. Talk us through what, what your vision was behind this project. Uh, yes, thank you very much. We had the um, feeling that uh, in Montpellier, uh, outside um, uh, living is very important in the city and in the way of life there. And uh, the way uh, this building is organized is to um, have this uh, quality of life in um, a building which is in the center of the city. And, and the idea is to bring part of the outdoors inside for everybody, even though you're 16 stories up. Yes, absolutely. And, and what Every was, again, yeah, what was your inspiration for this? Um, we, we thought that um, uh, because of the uh, the very big um, uh, the very nice views that the the, the building gives and uh, in Montpellier the weather is very nice all the year and we have the feeling that uh, we can give a lot of surface outside and uh, we 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 try to take the quality of life there and to put it in um, in a building where uh, you, you can have the quality of life in in the center of the city with a restaurant uh, in the basement a bar on the top floor and uh, your apartment with a very big terrace. And when is the project supposed to be done? Uh, it's supposed to be done in uh, 2017. Uh, we are uh, three architects working on it now. It's uh, Su Fujimoto in Japan and Manal Rajdi in France, in Paris, and myself. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, we, 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 it's supposed to be built in the uh, end of 2017. Uh, the architects I've been speaking to recently, I would say the vast, vast, vast majority of them talk about how important it is to incorporate environmentally uh, friendly materials into the things that they're building. Are, 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 did you go in that direction as well? Yes, we had a, um, a very um, a strong um, feeling that uh, now the um, sustainability in France is uh, mostly uh, calculated on basis which are done in the north of Europe. And we tried with this building to uh, invent a new way to do it um, for Mediterranean um, uh, part of Europe with a, a consultant who specialized in that was called Franck Boutet. See, this is where uh, I wish that I lived in, in France because I can see myself <laughs> sitting there on one of those balconies enjoying the sunset. But uh, another time, another life. Nicolas, thank you very much. Uh, Nicolas Linné, owner of Nicolas Linné Associé Architects, uh, uh, with us here to talk about this project.